Hi guys, it's Eleanor and today we're making a very simple weather system. We have the scene and sometimes it rains, sometimes it snows, sometimes it's just calm. This is the basic idea behind it, so let's do this. And before we start, come join the Discord server, the link is gonna be down below. I'll be very happy to socialize and I'm also sharing all sorts of useful resources I find throughout the day. So I have this scene set up. We have these two trees and a bit of snow on the ground. And we also have these two very simple particle systems. I got some free snowflakes from the asset store and I'm gonna leave the link in the description. The rain is exactly the same as the snow. Um, I just made the particles smaller and I made them blue. Both of those I've disabled from the inspector to start with. I've also created an empty weather manager object and I've attached the new script to it. So let's start scripting now. We need a bunch of variables to start with. A public game object array, I've named that weather particles, and this is just gonna keep all of our effects so we can pick between them. A private end particle random, a private float, naming that chance of rain, I set that to two, and another one for the length of the effect. A private float dies, and this is to help us decide if it should be calm or not. A private boolean, I've named that as knowing, but it's really if an effect is active or not. And lastly, we just need a timer. And now let's just go back to the inspector and set the weather particle variables with our game objects, rain and snow. Now we need to add two functions, snow and stop snow and they're just gonna make the game up to give an active or inactive in the scene by using set active true or set active false. And again, I've, I've named this no, but it should be start effect and stop effect. So now in, in the update function, um, let's check if it's not snowing already. And if it's not snowing, let's throw our die and see if it should rain or snow. I'm getting a random number between zero and 100 and I'm checking if this is less than the chance variable we set earlier to two. And if so, then we should have an effect. It should rain or snow. Now let's decide which one of the two by getting a random number between zero and the length of the array. And then activate the effect using the function we set up earlier. And we also want to set the boolean to true so we know that the effect is active. And for our timer, we want to get a random number. We don't want every single effect to take the same amount of time. We don't want the snow and rain to be the same unified amount of time every time we run this. So now, while it's snowing uh, or raining, we want to reduce the timer until we get to zero. And once we get to zero, we just want to stop the effect and set our boolean to false. So in the next cycle, there's again a chance of a new effect. And that's it. If we go back to the inspector and click play, we can see this in action. We get some rain, then we get some snow. Um, I have set my variables in a way to make this very dynamic and constantly changing for the purposes of this video. So you might want to balance this differently for a game. You can also add different animations and whatnot uh, for the different seasons and you can even add a temperature meter. I've made a video on that a couple of weeks ago. I'm gonna link that in the description as well. So yeah, have fun with this. If you have any comments, leave them down below. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye!